alligators are no marshmallows. We think of them as vicious. So tourists on a Louisiana swamp boat tour were surprised when their guide jumped in with the gators. Then we hear a splash and we're like, oh my gosh, she's in the water. Stacy Hicks was recording as the 20 or so passengers Oh my god! Gas. Each time the gators came looking <gasps> for the chicken the tour guide pulled out of his pocket. <gasps> Or when he positioned himself so a gator rested its head on his. <laughs> this is hard. Hard to watch. No, hard to videotape and take pictures at the same time. <laughs> they should have known when back at the dock. He's introducing himself. He goes, yeah, they gave you the crazy guide. And this is when it really got crazy. You got paid out to throw me a marshmallow from the back? Someone lobbed the requested marshmallow. Watch this. Oh. <gasps> the guide proceeded with a mouth-to-mouth -mouth marshmallow transfer, oh. <laughs> prompting applause. Wow. It was awesome. Now, Jefferson Parish, where the tour is located, has an ordinance saying you're not allowed to feed alligators in the wild. So the sheriff's office is conducting an investigation and reminding local swamp tours of the rules. The tour company in question... Break your senses for... Airboat Adventures. ...has clammed up and wouldn't comment to CNN. But perhaps the more profound question to come out of all of this, do gators really consider marshmallows to be a delicious delicacy? Fans of the show True Blood might recall this marshmallow tossing scene. Gators love marshmallows. Not so, a Florida marine biologist told National Geographic He's concluded from the stuff he's found in gator stomachs, spark plugs, cans, dog tags, bottles, they are not picky eaters. As for the tourists worrying about the captain cavorting with gators. We're thinking, oh my gosh, how are we getting back to shore if something happens to him? At least this puts the marsh into marshmallows. Genimo, CNN. Uh. New York.